Our number six, the researchers proposed that the most likely reservoir for SARS-CoV-2 is A. Snakes, B. Pangolins, C. Fruit bats, or D. Horseshoe bats. Okay, so ano nga po ba pala ang ating reservoir? So pag sinabi po natin reservoir, reservoir is the natural habitat of the microorganism for its survival and for its multiplication. So meron po tayong mga link na reservoir ng ating SARS-CoV-2. So is it your uh, is it your snake is it your pangolins is it your uh, fruit bats or is it your horseshoe bat So malamang sa malamang po bats is the correct answer pero alin sa dalawang bats ang pinaka reserva ng ating SARS-CoV-2 So itong si fruit bats hindi to yung pwedeng isagot natin kasi ang ating fruit bats yan po yung uh, known na reserva ng ating MERS coronavirus sa Saudi Arabia So ang pinaka pinaka link na reserva ng ating SARS-CoV-2 of COVID-19 is none other than your horseshoe bat sa ating letter D. So, letter D is your horseshoe bat is the reserve of your COVID-19. So, itong pangolin naman natin, itong pangolin naman is, since meron po siyang identical, uh, identical genetic uh, composition for your SARS-CoV-2, yung pangolin COV or coronavirus, meron po siyang 91.02% na identical lang po siya sa ating SARS-CoV-2. So, second lang po siya. So, ang first is the horseshoe bat and second link is your pangolins. So, sabi ko nga kanina, itong fruit bats natin, hindi po siya pepede kasi MERS coronavirus po siya. Okay? So, if you say horseshoe bats, horseshoe bats, Chinese scientists find all the genetic building blocks of SARS in a single population of horseshoe bats. So, they are considered the probable source of the coronavirus outbreak is spreading from China. So, the correct answer for number... Uh, For number 6 is letter D, horseshoe bats po yung ating sagot. So letter D, horseshoe bats is the reserva of your SARS-CoV-2. So number 7, number 7, people with COVID-19 have had a wide range of symptoms reported ranging from mild symptoms to severe illness. Symptoms may appear how many days after exposure to the virus? So letter A, 7 to 14 days. Letter B, 2 to 21 days. Letter C, 2 to 14 days. Or letter D, 7 to 21 days. So, ang tinatanong po sa ating question number 7 is the incubation period of your SARS-CoV-2 or your COVID-19. So, under the stages of your communicable diseases, meron po tayo mga 5 stages of the disease. So, ano po ba yung 5 stages of the disease? Number 1 stage is the incubation period. So, pag sinabi natin incubation period, that is the time from uh, entry of the microorganism up to its multiplication and to the appearance of your non-specific signs and symptoms of the disease. So, yan po yung mula pagpasok ng mikrobyo hanggang sa magkaroon ka ng mga non-specific or mga vague, vague signs and symptoms of the disease. Example ng vague signs and symptoms of disease is yung fever, body malay, o yung mga pangkaraniwan na sintomas na na makikita natin sa lahat ng klase ng sakit. Pag nakita mo yung mga klase mga sintomas na yun, yun yung nasa incubation period ka pa lang. Next is number 2 is your prodromal period. So pag sinabi naman natin prodromal period, ang prodromal period naman is from the appearance of the non-specific signs and symptoms of the disease up to the appearance of the specific signs and symptoms of the disease. So kanina sa ating incubation, entry to the non-specific signs and symptoms. So sa prodromal period naman po natin, ito na yung ating uh, non-specific signs and symptoms to the appearance of the specific signs and symptoms of the disease. So that is the number two stage of the communicable disease infection. So number three is your stage of illness. So pag sinabi naman natin stage of illness, very visible na ang signs and symptoms ng sakit. So severe signs and symptoms may appear at the stage of illness of the disease. So After na ating stage of illness, we have also your stage of decline. So number four is stage of decline. So stage of decline is, so signs and symptoms is decreasing. So the number of pathogens in your blood plasma is decreasing also. So that's your number four, so stage of decline. And the last one is your convalescent period. So pag sinabi naman natin convalescent period, ang convalescent period po natin, yan na po yung ating recovery period of your disease infection. Okay, so this is infection. So that's your convalescent period. So take note sa ating convalescent period, meron nang nabubuong IgG antibody. So pag meron ka ng IgG antibody, ibig sabihin po niyan, nagkaroon ka na ng antibody at nalabanan na po ng katawan mo ang certain infection katulad ng COVID-19. Pero pag ang nakitang uh, antibody sa dugo mo is the IgM antibody, ibig sabihin po niyan, yung IgM kasi, it indicates that you have an active infection still in your body. So that is your five stages So it is known that the incubation period of the COVID-19 is thought to extend to 14 days. So 2 to 14 days is the range of the incubation period of the COVID-19 with a median of 
4 to 5 days from exposure to symptoms. So one study reported that 97.5 persons of your COVID-19 patients develop symptoms will do so within 11.5 days of the SARS-CoV-2 infection. So the range of your incubation period is 2 to 14 days and the median time is 4 to 5 days. So the correct answer for number 7 is letter C, 2 to 14 days 